But I must say it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Fulham up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Tino Keira in central defence. Declan Rice alongside Tomasz Socek in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Thank you for attending the game at Craven Cottage today. Enjoy the match. A game that should be full of entertaining moments and it's West Ham United who begin. Vladimir Tsofal. On to Ben Rachma. Declan Rice. A very effective challenge put in. William. And William, well, body in the way. A really top-notch piece of defending. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Gianluca Scamacca, determined defending. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, is the... Perfect. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! Not to be in terms of the cross there. The goal kick coming up. Tilo Keira. Cresswell with it. Jared Bowen. Another perfect position to read it. And he has options available. Real chance. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And over it comes. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, still an issue here. And problem solved for now. And they continue to advance. 
and a lot of options here and with that the attack fizzles out Mitrovic very quick thinking there Jared Bowen Gianluca Scamacca on to Ben Rachma Vladimir Tsofal couldn't keep it Pereira Wilson and the referee has awarded a corner following that touch well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch for that one. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. <laughs> Taking care of business defensively here. William might go ahead. The high press was very much on. And good work to deny the chance. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Delivering it. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Pereira. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, no damage done. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And I think he'll be kicking himself, ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Well, there it is, half-time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And making the run to the inside. Pereira. Wilson. Determined defending. In 
a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Now he must favour the cross. Can he put them in front? And able to close down the shot. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Really vital interception here. Ben Rama. Gianluca Scamacca. Declan Rice. What can the Hammers do from this position? Well, putting it wide from there, a pity really. Substitution time as is here. Well, there you have it. They haven't going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency. Paqueta, and reading it absolutely superbly. Into the advanced position. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And the cross smuggled away. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Can they now get the winner? Well, they might be onto something. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Mitrovic. Oh, surely! And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Aaron Cresswell. Ten minutes to go. Skamaka. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Chance to cross. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Alexander Mitrovic. And attempting the through ball. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. It's looking promising. Must be! Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Both substitutes have been getting ready. Will come on at the same time. Short corner favoured. And no way through. Gianluca Scamacca. Intelligent threaded pass here. For Niles, terrific block. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.